So this video is going to be an update on my large-scale Henrietta project and basically what's going on with it. Quite a few people have been asking me when Part 3 is going to come out, and I do understand it's literally been almost seven months now since Part 2 was uploaded, but I've kind of hit a roadblock with this project, and I'm currently trying to find either parts or a way to make parts for uh, the next part of this build. But I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, how Henrietta sits at the moment and basically explain the trouble I'm having. Now, if you've been watching my Henrietta project, you'll know that I finished up building the chassis back in part two. And in part three, I was planning on starting on the balconies. And what I wanted to do was modify these LGB balconies to look similar to the ones Henrietta has in terms of the... Uh, decorative railings and such and I'll actually bring in the Ertl model for reference here you can see how that looks and I wasn't going for 100% accuracy with the large-scale project I just wanted something that looked close enough and I looked at companies like Evergreen uh, Plastruct I think was another one uh, I believe I even checked with Micromark and I just couldn't find anything that had a pattern similar to how Henrietta's balconies look. So I basically started looking into how I could replicate that look with these balconies. And unfortunately, I haven't had any good ideas on how to go about doing that. At least not something that's going to take forever to assemble. But uh, the balconies as they sit right now, uh, the only thing I've done to them is I pulled off these front gates here and I actually don't have those anymore. I've sold them and made back some of my money I've been spending on uh, building this model. But uh, I wanna keep the opening gates on these and uh, probably some of this uh, detail here, I'll go ahead and sand that down because it really doesn't need to be there. But I don't know, That that's my main problem right now is trying to get the decorative railings on these balconies. I just don't know how to go about doing that. Uh, and I can't really find anything that's uh, gonna work for what I wanna do. One thing I thought about doing was just skipping over the balconies here and moving on to the upper portion of the coach now. But the thing is, I've been trying to build this coach from the ground up. And what's my biggest concern right now is if I work on the body of the coach, and finish that, I may have to come back and redo the ends a little bit to accommodate the new balconies. And I mean, if I've already finished, you know, the body of the coach, you know, then I'm gonna have to go back and make changes. And um, I just think it's easier to get the balcony out of the way before I move any further with this. So, you know, I'd like to get those done. But the rest of the coach is pretty much the same as it has been. Uh, the roof is still the same. I've been debating about uh, sanding this down and smoothing it out and making it look more like Henrietta's roof or maybe just uh, make a new roof entirely. I don't know at the moment. The coach body's been gutted. Uh, it's been gutted since part one. There's nothing in here right now. All that's over here. Um, I'm debating about using these seats though because in the railway series Henrietta's seats were basically ran along the sides of the coach here and then they were facing inward on both sides. At least that's how it was in the railway series. And I'm kind of thinking, you know, going that route, just making new seats, and then I'll have these ones to sell and maybe make a little more money. Uh, another thing is I've been looking at how the windows are done, and I'm honestly thinking about cutting out these verticals in the windows and maybe lengthening them out here a little bit as well and just putting completely new window frames in and that also means I won't be using the window frames that were in the coach or the uh, plastic uh, transparent plastic which that's not here right now I got that wrapped up so it doesn't get scratched but you know I'm thinking about possibly putting or most likely putting new windows in this uh, these doors as well uh, these don't need to have the windows, so I'll probably just end up uh, popping all that out of there, uh, filling this in with styrene, and then, uh, you know, those uh, windows there will be more stuff I can sell and make a little more money. But, uh, yeah, 
I don't know, I'm kind of getting more involved with this project than I originally planned, but I don't know, just one of those deals. I'm already cutting corners as it is. I, I think if I wanted to do this project correctly, I should have just started from scratch. So yeah, that's the current status on the Henrietta project. And unfortunately, until I get the little dilemma sorted out with these balconies, uh, I wouldn't expect part three anytime in the near future. But if anyone watching has any ideas on how I can make these look more accurate, you know, feel free to leave a comment or maybe even send me an email. That's part of why I'm doing this video, try to get some feedback from my viewers and maybe they have some ideas because I'm just at a loss right now. But before I wrap things up here, something I did want to mention is I'm going to be showing this Henrietta project along with some of my other large-scale Thomas stuff on Train World's Thomas Tuesday this coming Tuesday. And you can see I've got several things here on the workbench right now that I'm working on to get ready for that. And uh, if you're interested in tuning in, I'll be sure to leave a link to Train World's Facebook and their YouTube channel. Like I said, I'm going to be on there and uh, hopefully some of you guys can join. But anyways, that's going to be it for this little update on Henrietta. This is how she sits. I haven't really made any progress on the model since part two. But again, you know, if anyone's got any ideas, feel free to let me know. That's going to be all for now. Catch you guys soon.